Welcome to my weather video for Monday, February 4, 2008. We'll start out with a picture I took this morning just before 7 o'clock here in Vinemont in North Alabama. Higher elevations were socked in with fog in North Alabama this morning, but the Tennessee Valley had some heavy rain showers move through uh, along with the passage of a warm front this morning. This is the webcam down at the Pink Pony Pub down in Gulf Shores at 10.53 this morning, and you can see that there were breaks in the clouds down there already. But at 2.01 on the visible satellite, you can see the breaks in the clouds, the warm air advecting from the Gulf of Mexico down in south and central Alabama. Here's a few illustrations of those clouds uh, breaking up in Demopolis in Marengo County in west Alabama at 2.05 this afternoon along the Tom Bigby River. Here's a view at 205 down along the coast at Gulf Shores in uh, southwest Alabama down in Baldwin County. But we'll go from Baldwin County in southwest Alabama to extreme northeast Alabama, Stevenson, Jackson County. At 206 this afternoon, they were still socked in with fog and temperatures were a lot cooler. The next couple of graphics will show that temperature gradient. Temperatures were hard, having a hard time reaching 60 in northeast Alabama while they were approaching 70 in southwest Alabama. And this graphic right here will show that temperature gradient, which was really pronounced uh, in north central Alabama. And the dew points, they're going to be an indicator of the severe weather potential. And Mississippi is definitely have a higher uh, potential of severe weather due to the higher dew points they will have tomorrow. Just around 5 o'clock, I took this photo in Vonmont. The clouds are breaking up here in North Alabama. But it's a sure sign that spring's about to begin when I look out in my yard and I see the daffodils starting to come up in the ground. And uh, it won't be but a matter of a few weeks and we'll see some pretty yellow balloons, I'm sure. Now we'll look at a few sunset images. First, we'll start off down in one of my favorite places, Gulf Shores, Alabama, down in Baldwin County. This is a picture taken atop the uh, Phoenix All Suites Hotel. Another one of my favorite places, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, had a beautiful, gorgeous sunset tonight just after 5 o'clock. Here's a close-up view from the Pink Pony webcam. You need to check that out uh, if you can locate it. Do a Google search. It's a pretty interesting webcam. Uh, we'll move on to Demopolis on the ABC 3340 Skycam. 3340 has a great site with a lot of weather information. The Skycams do a good job. Let's talk about some weather. Uh, Low pressure is now forming in western Texas and eastern New Mexico. This is what's going to bring the severe weather to a lot of the Mid-South. Right now, much of the Mid-South is under a moderate risk of severe weather. The dew points will be the key. Uh, the wind fields are going to be very impressive with this, and there's going to be a lot of rotation. The big question for the South will be the dew points and the uh, instability. As you can see, the dew points are highest to our west. The convective available potential energy, or CAPE, is highest in West Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Eastern Texas, Southern Arkansas. Those are the areas with the best chance of severe weather tomorrow. We'll look at the first day two outlook that was issued this morning. As you can see, there was a moderate risk from most of Mississippi, a big chunk of western and middle Tennessee, southern, southwestern Kentucky, and northwestern Alabama, and extreme eastern Arkansas. That was expanded in the next outlook that came out later today uh, to include much of Arkansas, southeastern Missouri, southern Illinois, and southern Indiana. Uh, there's a good chance of severe weather tomorrow, and I wouldn't be surprised if this was upgraded to a high risk. Now, midnight Tuesday night, the GFS still has the main band of, and main line of severe thunderstorms to the west of Alabama. But that's not to say that there will not be some discrete uh, supercells forming out ahead of the lawn. And Jackson, Mississippi National Weather Service has a really good uh, discussion on the severe weather possibilities for tomorrow. Keep looking to the sky and keep your eyes open for the possibility of severe weather.